Welcome everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. We've got a little bit of a fun unboxing video for you guys today. Um, and we're going to be diving into the new 2023 RockShox Zeb Ultimate. I've got the 29 inch wheeled 170 mil fork here, which we are going to be putting on a bike very soon. Uh, there was a massive update across the RockShox line, which you may have already seen or learned about on our website or many of the others. Um, but there's a lot of really cool new stuff going on. One of the things that we wanted to point out before we get into the video, however, is that um, if you're looking to save a few bucks and you don't have to have the newest fork, uh, our, our friends over at Competitive Cyclists are having a really awesome Memorial Day sale going on right now, up to 30% off 2022 RockShox product. So um, like I said, if you're trying to save a few bucks, two, three, maybe even more hundred dollars off, uh, definitely worth a check. So um, go to competitivecyclist.com if you want to save some money, check that out. Uh, also use Lone Wolf 15 on any other applicable items and save yourself a few bucks. So without further ado, let's get into the new RockShox Zeb. So as I said, uh, this is the ultimate level fork. It is a 29er, 170 millimeters of travel. Um, we actually have Chris uh, Mandel from RockShox sending us a 160 air spring. We're going to uh, put this on, I think, the Trek rail, which we um, have already blown the, the rear rock shocks out of. So we're going to get a matching updated new shock and fork to put on that bike. So, um, all right. So rock shocks across the board, major updates. Uh, they've got changes to all three forks. They've got Zeb, which is their bigger long travel, kind of burly enduro, parky, kind of free ride single crown fork. Um, so you've got 160 to 190 millimeter travel Zebs. The Lyric is going to be your 140 to 160. Uh, and then you've got the Pike, which is going to be kind of most uh, trail epic kind of guys that are in that 120 to 140 range. All the forks are going to come in 27 and a half inch or 29 inch wheeled options. And you've got uh, two different offsets for the 27 and a half inch wheel. And uh, I believe just 44 mil offset on all the 29er forks. So um, let's get into claims, right? <laughs> Every year, it seems like companies are releasing new stuff. Big claims are being made. Um, and, you know, I, re I get excited about stuff, but I'm also, I don't want to say jaded, but a little skeptical, right? I mean, uh, one of the things that, that uh, they're claiming is complete isolation of high speed and low speed uh, adjustability in this fork. And I feel like that's not a claim that hasn't been made before. So, uh, you know, and I'm not just pointing the finger at rock shocks, right? I feel like a lot of companies have said like, oh, you, you can tune one without really affecting the other. But if that's a new thing that they've done this year, did that mean it wasn't that true before? But I'm getting in the weeds here. So we'll, we'll get into the stuff I'm most excited about and, and we'll get into the rest of the details. So buttercups. All right, now that is this little gold icon. All right, this is something that I am very excited about trying out. Uh, there are four buttercups in each fork. Some of these features I'm talking about are only gonna be on the two highest level model uh, top tier forks, which would be ultimate, uh, flight attendant equipped forks, etc. Um, so buttercups are essentially, they're little rubber donuts, uh, whatever you want to call them, little rubber grommets that are encased in these little gold uh, bodies um, that go at the top and bottom, right? There's two on each, sorry, sorry, yeah, two on each fork leg. So you've got one on the air spring and one on the damper. And the the goal with them is to um, isolate vibration. So obviously your, you know, the spring and the oil and the dampers are all kind of working to slow down impact and shaft speed when a fork or your wheel hits an obstacle. Um, if you're envisioning like a bike park experience, right? I'm thinking about Whistler Bike Park right now, late summer, you're going really fast down these like maybe fire roads to transition from one part of the park to another and you've just got washboards and little gravel and you're going fast and you're already tired and it's just like all these little vibrations and your fingers are just cramped and locking onto the grips. Apparently these buttercups are supposed to reduce those vibrations and that energy that's 
coming through and transmitting up to your handlebars and your hands by up to 20%. Uh, which is no small amount, right? 20% is definitely a noticeable change. I'm very excited to see how these little rubber dampers that are down here and, and, and up at the top are going to, to reduce that energy. So uh, very cool there. Uh, moving on to another bit of uh, tech that I'm really excited about trying out would be the new Debonair Plus Air Spring. Um, RockShox the goal was to have a very consistent feel across all three fork chassis platforms. Um, they tuned positive and negative air volumes um, for each fork and for each intended application of that fork, right? So like a 120, you know, trail rider is gonna have a very different demand and look for out of that pike, whereas a 180 guy is gonna have a, a totally different experience and expectation out of an air spring and, and tuned feel on a Zeb. Um, so that's definitely been something that's really cool. And, and RockShox, again, by tuning the shape of that air spring, um, they've claimed to be able to make it more plush off the top and, and increase a lot of that sensitivity and suppleness that I personally look for, um, but also give better mid-stroke support. Um, I know, you know, we even did like a Fox 38 versus Zeb fork review last year, putting those, those two head to head, which was a ton of fun. Um, and mid-stroke support was definitely something we talked about a lot in that video. So it's very cool to, you know, hope that that a lot of that stuff is even better. Uh, ride height is supposed to be better. So uh, the fork will stay higher in the travel, giving you more access to, you know, that 170 millimeters of travel that you, you paid for, right? You're not sitting at 70 millimeters in as you're braking and going down a steep hill. Um, moving on, uh, Charger 3 Damper. That is another update that is very cool. I think um, a lot of riders are gonna be impressed, right? There's, it's been, it's been a while since the Charger has, uh, I guess, completely gotten to a new generation. So the three is very cool. Um, the internals look amazing. The, the, the claims are impressive. Like I said, high speed, low speed are supposedly independent of each other. So there are only five adjustments on the high speed um, and, and they're, very noticeable. Uh, so it, it's moving a lot more oil with each click that you open or close that orifice. Um, and you've still got a ton of clicks. I believe it's 15 or, or 18 with the low speed. Um, and because they're not really affecting each other, you're able to really tune damping or, or feel um, without affecting harshness, right? And sometimes it was something that, that RockShox used their, this terminology and language in their press release I, I read. You can affect damping or, or you can affect compression which, without harshness. And that's something I think is very important as riders want to have a fork that maybe, you know, slows down that energy, but doesn't make the trail feel harsher, more abusive, rougher. And I'm really excited to see if that claim holds true. Um, I, I definitely spend a lot of my time testing bikes, focusing on hand and feet feedback. Um, I feel like I've got very delicate hands, right? So like I definitely pay attention to how my hands and my feet feel. Do I have a lot of fatigue? Am I feeling sore or achy on these long downhills? And um, that kind of gives me a good perspective on, on sidewall, wheel stiffness, suspension setup, suspension designs, if we're talking about you know rear suspension linkages on bikes. Um, so I definitely feel like I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to how my hands and feet feel once I get on this new stuff. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, quietness is also something that RockShox really focused on. Um, this is supposed to be a pretty silent fork. So they've gotten rid of a lot of that, that oil and air kind of like sucking and squishing sound that you may have heard in some of the others. So that is very cool. Uh, speaking of air sounds, another update are these pressure relief valves uh, underneath these little rubber booties here. So you can see we've got little pressure relief valve, which is very cool on both legs. So uh, that is something I'm sure a lot of riders will be very pleased with. Um, friction. So uh, optimized bushing package, uh, or the ultimate bushing package, I should say. Um, RockShox has gone so far as to optimize bushing overlap on all the new forks. And uh, again, high level forks are gonna 
benefit from 53% longer lower bushings, which is gonna, you know, the more overlap you have, the less flex uh, you have, which reduces friction, allows the parts to last longer and to work and slide more smoothly through, uh, through the legs. So um, all that stuff is really working together to hopefully give a, a really nice ride out of a fork that frankly was already pretty awesome, right? Like we rode last year's Zeb on a lot of different bikes and we really liked it. It's a very, very good fork. Uh, and that's why I don't really feel bad saying like, take advantage of that 20 to 30% off if you, if you wanna save a few bucks and you don't have to have the latest greatest. Um, and, uh, you know, head over to Competitive Cyclist and pick up a 22 for a pretty solid deal. Um, but since we do have this new one, I am very excited to get it on a bike and start testing it. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that long-term review on the new Zeb Ultimate. Very rad fork. We are excited once again to get this thing mounted and put on a bike. So um, make sure you guys ask any questions you have down below uh, as we start riding this fork, let us know if you want us to compare it to how much different it is to an outgoing Zeb, uh, Fox, DVO, EXT, you name it. We've, we've got pretty much everything here on hand. So I would love to know what your thoughts are as we evaluate this fork in terms of how important you might think it would be to upgrade or get a new one on your bike. Uh, thanks again, you guys. Appreciate it. Once again, ask any questions down below and we will get back to you. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to use Loam Wolf 15 at competitivecyclist.com. And uh, we'll see you out on the trails, guys. Have a great weekend.